An update tonight. We've learned from family and friends the identity of a man killed last week at a west side cell tower. Philip Harley was one of two men shot and killed at the site. On your side's Alex Asidas joins us where all this happened. And Alex, you spoke with a friend of one of those men earlier today, and, you, and you've learned a lot about the situation. Yeah, and Jeannie, as we walked the area tonight, it was just last week that this area across the street was taped off. It was a crime scene. Philip Harley's friends share in a statement tonight that their love and their support for his family that he leaves behind won't stop. Pictures of Philip Harley, his wife, and children. Smiles on their faces, now memories. Harley was identified by friends as one of the two men shot and killed at a cell tower off Firestone Road. The pair had been hired as subcontractors by AT&T. They arrived at the site around 10 p.m. June 17th for a job. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office found the men early the next morning and say what happened may have been part of a robbery but was unclear. The identity of the second man has not been released and the investigation remains open. The On Your Side team connected with a friend of Harley who posted online. She's helping with a fundraiser for Harvey's wife and three children. In a statement, she said, quote, We appreciate your thoughts and prayers during this very difficult time. Adding to those helping, quote, Amazing outpouring of kindness from everyone. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Crime reports from the area show that there was an armed robbery nearby where this happened just the day before that shooting. No suspect information available at this time. Reporting live on the west side, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.